Hi there, welcome back to my channel. I have an unboxing today, which um, I think is going to be kind of fun. I did a ink swap. I'm sorry if you can hear hammering. My husband is making a, a cabinet for our new pizza oven that's arriving today. So you might hear that in the background. I apologize. Or my squeaky chair. <laughs> Uh, I did an ink swap with Leanne of Leanne Likes. I'll link her channel down below in the description box. I've been watching her videos. Uh, I think I've watched her whole catalog of videos and I just love her to see, you know, what inks she's trying out and what pens she likes. And she does really amazing ink swatching videos and I'm sure that her video opening my box of inks will be way better than this one is just because I don't have all of the fun accoutrements that will be in her video for, for testing. But anyway, regardless, Leanne um, and I swapped inks and I did kind of crack this open. I didn't open or look at any of it because I want it to be a surprise. But uh, I did not want to fight with the box on camera. So um, once I open this, I'm going to swatch the inks. And I'm going to swatch them in a new notebook that I got recently um, from Yoseka Stationery. So um, I'm going to swatch them with my Kakimori Brass Nib with the wood pen nib holder. I don't know, I don't remember what this is, what kind of wood that is, but. Um, this notebook is just a Hobonichi uh, Techo Day Free. And um, I haven't started using this yet, I've just, tucked some things in here. I've added a couple of stickers. I did put some birthdays in for the year long calendar section. And this particular one has started in December. So I've got my calendar layout here, which I have another calendar on my desk. And also I have a traveler's notebook calendar in my purse. So this seems really redundant to use this calendar for any of my appointments and things, but alas, it's in here. So after you get through the, the months, it goes all the way till March of 2024. Um, then you just have blank pages. And this is where I'm going to swatch my inks and whatever else I feel like doing in this notebook. Probably uh, more of a commonplace notebook or maybe I'll start doing some regular journaling. I don't know. But anyway, this is what I'm going to be swatching the inks in today. So let's go ahead and open this up and see what Leanne sent me. I'm very excited. Here are the inks. Oh, she sent me a blotting paper from Urban. That's awesome. It'll be very helpful. This bag is so cute. Oh, she sent me some postcards. Look how pretty. Oh, these are from Bomb Kuchen. I knew it. Um, Kuhen. I don't know how to pronounce it. I'm sorry. Oh, beautiful. Wow, those are so beautiful. Oh my gosh. And she sent me some stickers. Oh, cute. I hope I'm in frame here. Oh, I am really new at this. 
Those are so cute. Thank you, Leanne. These are adorable. And then she sent me some, oh, these are pretty. They're like a printed vellum and probably a notepad of some sort. And then she wrote me a note and I will read this off camera. Oh, well, she wrote me a nice long letter. Okay, so she wrote me a lovely letter and I'm going to be definitely responding to her in um, a letter back. But I will share my thoughts on these inks while um, I do the video. So I think I've decided what I'm going to do with this notebook. I'm going to I'm going to swatch these four from Leanne, but then I'm going to go ahead and swatch out my whole ink collection so that I have them all in one place because that way I will be able to compare and contrast inks. I don't know if I will color code them or what, but I think I need a comprehensive place for all of my ink swatches, and I just don't have that currently. I just swatch them in whatever journal I'm using at the time. So let's see. I'll just take all these out of here. The first one she sent me is Kobe. Kobe ink and uh, Shinkakachu gold. I don't know if I'm saying that correctly. It looks like Shinka. Ichi. Shinka Ichi Gold. I think that's more what it says there. And it looks to be a yellow color. This one is Robert Oster's Sydney Darling Harbor, which I have been wanting to try, and it's really hard to get my hands on for some reason. Every time I look for this, when I'm in the mood to buy ink, I can never find it in stock. So thank you, Leanne, for this sample. I'm so excited to try that out. The third one is Taranashi. Uh, it looks like Opera Rose. It looks kind of a, like a brownish red color in the bottle. And Sailor Ink Studio 650, which... It's hard to see what color that is. I can't really tell. It looks like maybe it's blue. But whatever it is, it's dark. Definitely dark. So let's see. Let me set some of this stuff aside. And make sure that I'm in frame here. and zoomed in a little here. So the first one I'm going to try is the Kobe ink Shinka Ichi Gold. In her letter, Leanne claims that this particular color is known to be an exact dupe for Pilot Eroshizu Erosh oh my gosh, Eroshizuku Inaho, yeah, yarn, I almost said yarn, <laughs> you can tell where my brain is at, if you're new to my channel, I'm a knitter, so, oh, that is gorgeous, wow, I love it. Wow. I'm still getting used to writing with this snib. For some reason, it's difficult for me, and my handwriting is awful. But, um... Let's see. I'm going to try my best.
Oh, I like it. Leanne always does really cool, like, this kind of a thing. <laughs> I love that shading in there. This is really nice. So when it's wet, it's a little bit more green, but then as it's drying, I can see it's a little bit more gold in color. But I do like this a lot. Really pretty. This next one, I'll just try the Sailor Ink Studio 650. How's that looking on screen? Oh, that looks nice. Oh, oh dear. That's a nice dark navy blue. Pretty. I like this a lot. It's really dark. I'm sure in my pen it's going to be dark as well. But I like how that shows up in that swatch. It's beautiful. Let's see, what's next? Let's try the Taranishi Opera Rose. Oh, I just cannot seem to not get it on the wood. That's pretty. It's kind of an orangey pink color. That's going to be really nice in a pen. I love it. See, I'm so glad we did this swap because I would have never known anything about this particular ink. I'm not even familiar with Terra, Terra Nishi. Beautiful. Love it. Well, I'm a sucker for this kind of a color anyway. I've had several brunch date by Colorverse is one that's kind of similar. I also have a Kobe ink that's similar. 
that's really beautiful as it's drying. It's really looking very orange on the camera, but it's um, more pinky in person. And finally, let's see, Robert Oster, Sydney Darling Harbor. I'm also a sucker for the, these teal colors. They're my favorite. Oh my gosh. Wow, that is amazing. I just keep getting it on the wood. Nice. It's also very dark at first, so we'll see how that looks in a pen. But I do like it a lot. Wow, it's beautiful. I can't wait to see what Leanne thinks about the inks I sent to her. I think I sent her seven inks because I just couldn't stop once I started. <laughs> But hopefully she'll love them. I love this. Look how beautiful they look all together. She's got a good eye for color. Yes, she does. Well, I hope you enjoyed this little video swatching of my ink swap with Leanne. And um, one the video goes up that she's putting up of her swatching my ink, I will go ahead and link that in the down bar description box below. I already got ink on the... I'm such a slob, I'm telling you. But anyway, here is my... Look how beautiful. And you just can't beat this Tomorrow River paper. <laughs> Um, and no, I have no idea if this is the old paper or the new paper, but look at that. Look at that. Love that. I think my favorite of these is the gold. Even over this, because I think that's going to look so great in a pen. I love it. Thank you again for watching, and if you like this kind of content, go ahead and leave me a comment. Uh, hit the subscribe button, hit the bell for future notifications of other videos. I also use my channel to share my knitting projects, so if you're into that, you can follow me there. But everything is listed out in playlists, so you can go right to the content that you're wa wanting to see. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!